Okay, so I just got home from Costco and I got to go without my kids because my wonderful in-laws were watching them yesterday and today. So I got to, I mean, I did not accomplish all the things I wanted to do, but it was a good weekend to recharge and rejuvenate because I go back to school on Tuesday and then life starts happening again and soccer goes back. By the way, soccer never freaking ends. But that's okay, because my kids need the exercise. And I apparently need the chaos of life, because that's just how life seems to always work out. But, um, went to Costco and, uh, I cried, because they had popcorners, which, funny, you can actually see them right there. <laughs> um, <laughs> so they were Brian's favorite, and I, like, literally looked at the box, and I just started like kind of quietly crying. And it was really funny because there was nobody in this aisle. It was completely empty, which was like, thank goodness. And it was almost like Brian sent like nobody in that aisle for that reason. So I just kind of like had my moment of crying, shedding a couple of tears and then taking a deep breath and going forward because what else am I gonna do in life? I just have to keep moving forward no matter how much it sucks, but I still have big goals, big dreams, big plans, and I want to accomplish all of them. I mean, still trying to figure out what the heck I'm doing with all his vehicles, but maybe I will learn <laughs> one of these days. But yeah, I just, I did a lot of crying in stores this week. Cried in Home Depot, cried in Costco, uh, pretty sure I cried and no I have I only went to Target today was the first day I've been to Target in this new year I'm very proud of myself by the way um but yeah like you just gotta release it let it go um I'm not one to be sad and not be happy like that's just anybody that knows me knows me I'm a very happy person um which is crazy because I've been through a lot of crap in my life so but I still keep going because that's all I know, and I just, yeah, if you're going through grief right now or anything, just take a deep breath, figure out what you want to do with life, and make a game plan, and then just go for it, because at the end of the day, every single person in this world is going through something, whether it's somebody dying, whether it's, like, bad relationships, or just finances, or anything, like, you just have to keep going and look for the light at the end of the tunnel because there is one, I promise. Um, I don't always really see a light most days, but I am trying. And I know at the end of the day, everything will be okay. And I will always be sad. I will always be a widow, which is kind of sad to think about but it's also empowering because it's a title that gives you something that you came back from you have probably the worst thing that could ever happen to you happen but you came back from it and when I look back I want to see how far I've come in one year and be really freaking proud of myself because like some days I don't really feel very proud of myself but I have a lot of people that are proud of me so it kind of helps especially on the days that I don't feel all excited about life, but just take them as they come. So I hope you're all having a great Sunday and I hope you've all had like a good first five days of your year. <sighs> Tomorrow I start a detox, so I'm going to go meal prep so I can succeed because I got big goals. All right. Have a good day, you guys.